Good morning. This is Cindy. Welcome to my challenge and to the Marguerite Miller challenge. Uh, week 16. I already have put my base page down. This is just a piece of, um, it's basically printed computer paper. And I thought I liked that. It says Mayflowers on it. And spring, but springtime is here, and then it says May all around here. And I know it's April, but I really want the flowers, so we went with the flowers. So that's my base for what I need. I need a playing card, and I have chosen I know it's a snowman, and I've got May, so I am all over the place as far as seasons go. But I really like this playing card. This is the Ace of Spades, and um, I bought these at a thrift sale at one point, a uh, thrift store. And I don't know if all the cards were there, I can't remember, but I every time I make a Christmas journal, I stick one or two of these in there. And when I pulled them out and I thought, when it said playing card, I thought, oh, well, let's do something fun. Let's not just do a normal playing card, let's do something fun. So I picked up my snowman. When I flipped it over and saw it was the Ace of Spades, I thought, uh-oh, that's the death card. I don't remember why it's the death card. I know it had something to do with, I don't know, Wyatt Earp or Doc Holliday or one of those guys, Billy the Kid, somebody. It had something to do with a poker game and the last hand or something. Anyway, if you remember why this is called the death card, please let me know. But I figured we'll put our little snowman down there in the... He's just kind of melting maybe in this. In this. Uh, cursive writing, I'm going to write on here in a minute. An image with two shades of green. And I found this really pretty picture from Ireland. Again, out of one of those Ireland catalogs that I have that I keep cutting up. And it has actually a couple shades of green in there. And Ireland, 40 shades of green. Something representing aviation. And this was just a little leftover that I had from... Oh, my glory. Uh, I've done so many travel journals, and this was just a leftover. So I figured we'll find a way for that. A piece of a restaurant menu. Now, Fat Boys, you can see, had three different locations. Fat Boys no longer exists. It was a pizzeria. It was a cool pizzeria. Um, but it doesn't exist anymore. And so I thought I would do something with... A piece of this let me pull off the back end of it and we have calzones you know what let's get my scissors out here that are a little bit fancier and let's cut that right there I've been trying to remember to play with my scissors more often because, you know, I you have them and then you don't use them. They just sit there and it's like, okay, why do I have these if I'm not going to use them? Let's make it a bit of a mess, but that's okay. We'll just border it up with this set. This was just the first set that I grabbed, so that's what we're going to go with. When I do these challenges, I tend to, I know that I have a tendency just to plop them down and not really put a lot of thought into it. Um, they've got some thought. Usually I'm trying to figure out how to make your eye go around and do something. I'm trying to incorporate the, this into it, but I don't know that that's going to be so easy to do maybe you know what i was not sure what i wanted to do with him but maybe i'll just stick him in here like he's hiding from the i kind of like that okay we're making a decision here i got this glue and i haven't really used it very much so i'm trying to find out if i like it or not i think i do but let's see how it works it was free at the um, craft fair that I went to. Ooh, that's I'm putting slippery on slippery. It moves, so I got to be a little bit more careful there. Okay, I want to hide you that way. 
Let me put the plane right up here. Let's take off. We're taking off. We're going for a ride. There, now I can throw that away. I have used it enough. And I suppose that's cursive writing too, isn't it? I was thinking of adding my own cursive writing, but this is sort of cursive, and that is definitely cursive. So I think my, I may have my cursive writing done already. Let's see if I can do this. Figure out how to do it. Okay. Time to figure out which way. I haven't obviously used this one very often. Oh, I might have to stand up to do this. This one's hard. There it goes. So I have a star in there. But we need something behind it so that you can see that it's a star. I need a piece of blue paper. It's a good thing I got a lot of blue paper. Got a real thin piece right here. Of blue paper. There we go. Just take a little bit of that. We're going to glue just around the outside edge a little bit. And we're going to back that. Okay, so now there's glue on it, but that's okay. Let me grab my paper here, and we'll just take off some of that glue. There. So now we have a little bit of a star. I have my star. Where do I want my snowman? Oh, and I have to put my image down, too. I'm going to cut that up. I always cut these apparently too big. I like the little guy down here. I don't want to lose him. Well, I already did it that way. Well, I like him, I think, better. So I guess we'll do it this way. And this is going to be just a little pocket. Stay there. So as I'm doing these things, if you're looking at it going, why did you do that? No, no, no. It belongs over here. Can't you see the line? Can't you see this? Can't you see? No, the reality is I can't. So please feel free to put comments below. Give me critiques. How am I doing? What am I doing on this? So a playing card either side. I put it in there so you can look at both sides. Cursive writing. An image with two shades of green, something representing aviation, a piece of a restaurant menu, and a star. And I think we'll just hide you. You know what? I'm going to do this with these. This is very, very thin. I probably should put another sheet underneath it, but I think we can get it. there. So I don't know if I like that white. Okay. I'm looking for my... Here we go. I have this Stampin' Up! kind of pinky stuff. Pinky ink. I always find these really hard to open. I'm so afraid I'm going to end up sticking my finger in it and I have in the past if there's a trick to opening these let me know what it is because I can't ever get them open oh my glory really ah there we go see told you I'm gonna end up wearing it <sighs> okay I just have this little I picked this up at the Dollar Tree figured I would give it a shot as it's a, supposed to be a makeup sponge but Figured, what the heck, we'll give it a shot and see how it works as this. Okay. 
Now these close up far easier than they open. There, we'll just put that little bit of pink around it and kind of makes it pop a little bit. All right, so this is Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 16. Please feel free to leave me comments, critiques. I don't learn if you don't help me learn. I don't really know, obviously, what I'm doing. So feel free to give me some tips. That's week 16. If you are enjoying this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click like to let YouTube know that you're liking them. And in the meantime, for week 16, this is Cindy signing off.